Hi, Diamond Painting friends. Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in to share a year-end wrap-up review for 2021. Today, I am joined by my beautiful assistant, Sophia, my daughter Hello. who's home from college. I'm so excited to have her here for the holidays. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season if you celebrate. If you don't, I hope you're having a wonderful December. Today's video is going to be a wrap-up review of all my diamond painting finishes. I'm not gonna include my other crafts in this wrap-up review today because diamond painting really is the main part of both my channel viewership and my main hobby, I would say, of all the hobbies that I do. So these are not gonna be presented to you in any particular order, and I will be putting in some long views up on the screen so that you can see while I'm chatting with you kind of the way these diamond paintings look at normal viewing distance rather than close up. So let's dive into my first finish for 2021, which was Distracted by Diamonds Wonderland. This one is by artist Matt Lyon. I love this one so much. It had 40 colors. It's a round. I blinged it out with all kinds of purple and pink and white ABs and this puppy glows. You can see it from space. It does not show with my harsh top-down lighting here, but even even from the side where I'm sitting. It's so cool. It's so our solar panel. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> seriously, it's amazing. This one was so fun to work on because it has all these tiny little details, Sophia. And they really only come to life when you're working on each little section. So snowmen and little houses. Somewhere around here, there's like presents. These little rainbow windows, which are just too much. I mean, they're just so cute. Little snowflakes. I mean, this one's like a little heart snowflake right here. <laughs> Shut up. It was just so fun. <laughs> I don't think it could have been more fun. I honestly don't know if this will ever be offered from Distracted by Diamonds again. I'm, I'm not privy to that information, and I just don't know. But if you guys have it in your stash already, you're going to love it, I think. <laughs> and if you want to just keep keep an eye out for it, I would suggest doing so if you love the canvas. I love, I love this one. <laughs> don't you love the way diamond paintings feel? I don't know. I've... Have you ever felt, oh, you've never felt one? Well, I don't want to touch your art. <laughs> I don't want to ruin what you're doing. That's so respectful. So. <laughs> your parents raised you right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's my first finish for 2021. I'm gonna grab the next one. Now today I'm not doing these finishes in chronological order because I have my big diamond paintings in a storage folder all together. So I'm gonna hit those first and then we'll move into the smaller ones. My second bigger finish for 2021 is Anderson's Little Mermaid. I finished this one in a 50 by 77 round from DIY Moon Shop. It had 45 colors just like all DIY Moon Shops. And I have to say, this to this day remains one of my very favorite finishes ever because of how her skin is rendered, Sophia. It's really, really pretty. It's really pretty. It's like really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this art is by Medusa the Dollmaker, a Spanish artist who does a lot of sort of Art Nouveau style artwork. And so, oh, this one turned out so beautiful. I did bling it out just a little bit with some pink. These aren't ABs, they're like AB crystals that came in a special treatment from DIY Moon. I don't know if you'll be able to see them here, but I love how that turned out. This was so subtly rendered. Often I had to step back and kind of finish what I was doing to see what I was really working on, like when I was working on this fish or these little fish going up here. But from a distance, as you guys can see, it looks absolutely magical. Mm -hmm. Magical. Now, every time I even mention DIY Moon's name, the FTC requires me to tell you that I have an affiliate relationship with DIY Moon, which means when you shop using the link in the description below and enter code Tiny Worlds of Wonder at checkout, I receive a commission for referring you. So I never have any expectation that you'll do that, but if you're shopping at DIY Moon anyway and you want to show the channel some love, that info is down in the description for you. This, I, what can I say? What can I say? It's one of my favorite finishes ever. She's gorgeous. I love her. She's amazing. I think I will always love her. I can't wait to do this whole series of poster style Medusa the Dollmakers. 
I think Cosmic Lover is next on my on my wish list for <laughs> Medusa the Dollmaker. So that's finish number two. On to finish number three. This is actually my most recent finish here on the channel, Sophia. I just <laughs> did a video about this one last week. This was my Drills and Chills 2021 canvas called Nouveau Folk Witch from DIY Moon. I finished this one in a 50 by 70? Yeah, 50 by 70 round. This one is also by Medusa the Dollmaker, a very similar style to the last one that I showed you. I'm gonna have a whole collection. And I, I, love, <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Medusa the Dollmaker is one of my, one of my favorite artists from DIY Moon. Love it. So she's got all of her potions down there. If you guys want a really in-depth review on this canvas, check out last week's video because I go into quite a bit of detail on that one. But that fabric looks so nice. Doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> they rendered it amazing. Yeah. Now, Sophie, on this one, I added some glow in the dark drills. So, all these little kind of differently textured ones here mm -hmm. glow in the dark when you turn the lights off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty magical, right? These are lemons, <laughs> they glow in the dark. She's got her little spell book with a moon on it that glows in the dark. Ooh. Her cup glows in the dark. <laughs> I know, so magical. This one, I would say, looks a little bit better on camera than it does in real life, but I'll give you the distance view up on the screen, of course, so you can see what it would look like hanging on your wall more so, because you're not, if you have a diamond painting hanging up, Sophia, you're not gonna be looking at it like from this close. You're mostly I mean, you just- you can. You can, you can, if but- you feel like it. Mostly you're gonna be walking <laughs> by it. I have a house full of diamond paintings that are hung on the wall. Mm -hmm. And I've had multiple people say to me, I had no idea that A, that you made that, or B, that it was a mosaic until I walked right up to it and just inspected it. Everyone thinks that they are posters that are hanging on my walls with obviously quite a bit more shimmer to them. So <laughs> from a distance, these always look really, really nice. So that is the third one I wanna show you, Nouveau Folk Witch. My next finish I can't actually show you here at the table because it's framed in a massive frame and hanging, not hanging, it's actually so heavy that it can't hang. It's actually sitting on top of my craft desk. I'll stick some footage in here so you can see it. This is The Swans from Distracted by Diamonds. This is by artist Frank William Brangwen. This is a 62 by 72 round. And I have to admit, you guys, that when I do a fine art diamond painting or an old master's diamond painting, those are the kits that I almost always frame if I have money in my budget to frame something. The rest of my kits kind of stay in a portfolio and they're just my personal finishes. But I have a number of fine art diamond paintings hanging around my house and I adore them. This one is no exception. The frame is from frames.com, I believe. And it turned out to be way more ornate and massive than I even thought it would be. <laughs> but. This diamond painting is beautiful. I have received so many comments about it when people come into the house. This one and my, I'm half sick of shadows, said the Lady of Shalott. Those two get more comments than just about any other piece of art in my house. So I love this one, I adore this one. I don't know again if this one will be available again from Distracted by Diamonds, but if you're a fine art diamond painting lover, this is definitely one to add to your collection. I think this one was my favorite one. Really? Yeah. Aww. Just the colors are so pretty. Yeah, the colors are really pretty. And it's classy, it's gorgeous. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. This canvas was actually my second finish of 2021. This is called Spartan Symbol from Diamond Dots. This is a partial 49 by 52 round drill canvas. This was really a dark horse when I finished it because I did not really expect to like it as much as I did. I mean, I ordered it because I liked it. I actually really like this one. From a distance, it looks so cool. It's like, it's like a piece of art hanging in a museum. And I really think I might frame this one someday and hang it up. It's really, really cool. And as you guys know, Diamond Dots Sparkle is really second to none. They have the sparkliest drills of any of the diamond painting companies that you can buy. I really like this one. It was fast. It probably, for some of you, this would take a day or two or three. This took me about two weeks, probably. A week and a half, two weeks. 
um, with all the working that I do, but I really loved every minute of it. It's a really fun one. So if you have a chance to pick it up, it's only 15 colors. Only this helmet is diamond painted. The rest is kind of like a sandy background texture that feels pretty cool and looks pretty cool too, I must say. So there is Spartan Symbol. All right, the next finish I wanna show you is of course the very famous Starry Nights. Well, the original art isn't called Starry Nights. Isn't it called A Starry Night or Starry Night, something like that? I don't know. We haven't gotten to that <laughs> unit in art history class yet. <laughs> You're not to Van Gogh yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Diamond Art Club version of this very famous painting and a painting that a lot of diamond painting companies render. After I finished this canvas, I really understood why so many diamond painting companies do this one because it, it's because it looks great in diamond painting. And I have to say, both the Van Goghs that I've done in diamond painting rendered amazingly well. So if you're a Van Gogh lover, what's stopping you? Do some customs of Van Gogh pieces because they turn out really nicely. This one is a 46 by 37. It was one of only two squares that I did this year. It's kind of a little one. Still took me about a month to finish, but it's a smaller one. It does have white ABs up in our fried egg here. And then, <laughs> I, I can't help it. I see that every time. And then up in kind of the clouds that go up here and our swirl there. I think this is beautiful. I do plan to frame this one at some point because I like it that much. I really think it's pretty. So Van Gogh, Sophia, that's probably coming up for you in art history. This Maybe next the semester. End of the, end of the semester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the church at Auvers, also by Van Gogh. Um, I did this one for Summer with the Masters, our summer event. It is a 40 by 50 square. This one is from Crafties. I'm also an affiliate for Crafties, so I receive a commission when people purchase using the link I'll stick in the description below. The FTC always requires me to tell you guys that. I had a really good experience with this canvas. The drills were really, really nice on this one. This was one of only two squares that I did this year. Also, both were Van Gogh's, oddly enough. <laughs> the drill fit was really, really tight and really precise, and that was really fun. Slightly less so in the darker colors, but in, in all the lighter colors down here, it was pretty much ideal drill shape. I had a ton of fun with this one. Squares are really slow. This one took me a good long time to finish. <laughs> really a good long time, but I enjoyed it. I find fine art diamond paintings very meditative to do, especially because they're a little more subtle and so they require you to step back and take a long view before sometimes you really see how they're gonna turn out. But I think I'm gonna frame this one and Starry Nights and they'll kind of be companion pieces in my house. I think that'll look so, so pretty. I really so, like this part. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, it turned out so good. So, so good. So I will definitely be trying another Crafties Custom at some point, and I expect to have a lot of fun with it. So there is The Church at Auvers by Van Gogh. Last up in our rotation today is The Little Prince from DIY Moon. This one is by artist Yishu Wang. It's the only Yishu Wang I've ever done, but I really enjoyed this one. I was a little bit worried when I first started that this ocean of beige up here was gonna blend too much into the ocean of beige in his hair and the ocean of beige on his asteroid. This is not his moon, this is his asteroid. But it turned out, it turned out really well, I think. It turned out so well. This is a 40 by 50 round. Kitty's in the holiday Rebecca. spirit, jingle jangling over there. I love how his face is rendered. I love how his flower is rendered over here, the fox. This is also one of my top finishes of the year, I think, because DIY Moon's rendering of this one is just so subtle and so beautiful. Now, DIY Moon has changed factories since I ordered all three of the the canvases I showed you today. So I have not seen the new renderings for this one or the other two yet. If you have done any of those, please let me know. But I really, really had a blast with this one. A great theme, a great canvas. My cat's going crackers for some reason. <laughs> it's, like it's time, it's, it's time, time to run around. It's time to wake up. 
<laughs> so there you have it, you guys. Those are my eight finishes for 2021. Some big, some medium, some small, mm -hmm. all very fun. I feel like the last couple of years have really reinforced to me that the more that I save up and purchase really quality pieces from companies that I know deliver good quality, the better my diamond painting experience has been year after year. And so I don't really have this year, thankfully, any diamond painting disasters. All of my experiences were really fun, just like last year. And I hope to bring you a lot more diamond paintings in 2022. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season if you're celebrating. I hope you have a wonderful new year. Stay safe, stay healthy. As always, spread some joy wherever you are. And we'll catch you next time, won't we, Sophia? Yep. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is spot. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> fartins, fartins? Fartins, fartins.